Hey guys, Cody here with Anarchy Outdoors. Today we want to look at the Ruger Precision Rimfire Rifle. This specific model is in 22 Long Rifle. We want to look at quite a few of the accessories we have on here, um, but today specifically we want to talk about the Welltail. Welltail is a new product. It's an extended magazine release. Um, helps you be able to drop the magazine without having to, you know, leave your position, um, your shooting position. Um, it's a great, great product. It comes in lots of different colors. Um, so today we're going to show you how to install that. It's really quite simple to do, especially if you follow along with a video like this. Um, not something you're going to have to take to your gunsmith, something you can do in your house by yourself. Um, pretty simple project. Let's take an overview of this gun real quick before we dive in here. So starting on the back, we have a cheek piece on here. We make cheek pieces for a lot of different um, stocks, guns. Uh, we make them specifically for each stock or gun, and we make universal ones you can trim to fit yourself. Uh, it's just gonna add some comfort on the back of there. Um, here we have, we'll dive into this a little bit in a second too. We have a shroud on here that we make, um, the handle, the knob, we have a firing pin inside of there. We have a scope base with a bubble level, obviously the whale tail we're talking about today, and then we have a muzzle brake that fits that barrel just seamlessly. Um, so let's dive into the whale tail installation. The first thing we're gonna wanna do on here is take the bolt out of the gun. So to do that, obviously just push on the tab, it slides out. Here you can see we have our aftermarket shroud on there. Uh, we have our aftermarket handle and knob. We actually have a um, heat treated um, stainless steel firing pin in there as well. All great upgrades um, if you want to upgrade them on your rifles. So let's set that aside. Second step is going to be just removing this little plastic tab here. So if you just pull up kind of on both sides, kind of like we did there, you'll be able to remove that. So set that aside. From there, we're going to move that bag out of the way and tip it upside down. We need to take the action screws out now. The action screws on this are going to be one eighth of an inch um, Allen key. So on ours, it's going to look a little different because we have a whale tail pre-installed on here, but yours will just more or less come straight up and, and end down here. So it'd be a little bit easier. The only difference is on the whale tail, um, you're going to want to pull back on this so you can get your Allen wrench in there. So I'll go ahead and take those off really fast for us. And then this is going to let it slide off. Now this you can set to the side for now. We'll put it right there. And we'll drop the action screws out. Set them aside. Get on the whale tail. I'm just going to hold that out of the way. Okay, perfect. So then you're going to have um, the back half of your gun here. So the piece we're going to be dealing with is this piece right here. So um, in this scenario to get the whale tail uh, mechanism out here is uh, the mag release mechanism with whale tail um, is I'm going to push on that little plunger. You guys should just be able to pull straight up and it'll come off. So I'm going to push on that plunger and lift out. Okay. There's the mag release assembly there. So that's what's, um, what we're going to be working with mostly. So I'll set this to the side as well here. Um, so this is a very easy, you know, process to change up until this point and going forward. So now all we're going to do is there's a little, uh, there's a little punch pin there. Um, so all we're going to do is I'm going to take the punch pin here. I'm actually going to just for ease of install and I watch how I do this very closely here. I'm going to push that plunger and my bottom finger is going to hold that little piece in place. And then with my punch pin, I'm just going to push that out. It should take extremely little effort. Um, at that point, you're going to pull out your mag release in this case, a whale tail in your case, it'll be the factory ones. Um, but if you hold this in place, it makes reinstall. Quite easy. We have a black one on here now. Boy, I don't know. Let's um, let's put a red one on. I think the red ones look pretty slick. So to do that, you're going to put. You see, there's one side of it that goes up more than the other. That side is going to go right there. You're going to slide it down, um, and you're basically just matching up the holes on that piece. Um, and then you're going to start. Let me do this. If you see real close, right there, there's a little tiny. That's the back of this. And that is what you want to get in first. So when you install this, don't necessarily worry about getting all three pieces lined up at once. Um, you do them one piece at a time and they'll go in pretty smoothly. You're just going to push it in. Let's see, you get that last hole lined up there. Pretty easy. Um, the plunger that you push on, that's just going to kind of release tension, allow you to wobble this a little bit better. Um, there you go, it's installed. Pretty simple and easy at this point. Um, it is two pieces. 
Um, so if you feel it would be easier, and it is easier, I don't think it's necessary, but it is easier, you can unscrew this, which will basically take the tail off of the whale tail, which just leaves a straight piece, makes it this next part just a hair easier. Not necessary, but can definitely make your life easier if you'd like it to. So we're gonna come back here, and again, I'm gonna push on this plunger. So you see the plunger, that's what's gonna allow this to you know, open up the most, because the key here is the spring. We don't want the spring to get bent as we're pushing it down. We wanna make sure the spring clears as it's sliding down, and then um, the spring will work properly. So another thing to note is you're gonna see there's two slots in this. So now these two slots here, um, you're gonna to wanna to put it, you're gonna to wanna to put this piece here in the front slot. So I'm gonna go ahead and push that plunger. I'm gonna bring it over here where the mag goes, and I'm gonna slowly put that down into Okay, so I can see here, I'm gonna put that down in the first slot. While doing so, I'll flip this around so you can see. If you look real close in there, right there you might be able to see it, if we get the right camera angle, um, you're gonna see that the spring is free, right? The spring did not get caught. So that way when I release it, um, you know it's gonna work properly. So that's how it should be properly installed. Then come up here on top, just make sure it's seated you know, correctly. Looks all perfect to me. So go ahead and bring action back here you can flip that over um, I did forget to mention here this because my gun is already on safe but it does need to be in safe in order to come out of the trigger housing so we'll go ahead and slide that back down on top of there I'm gonna get my action screws put them on there I'm gonna get this one started hold the gun in place while I put this other one on and this is where I was telling you earlier um, you basically if you just you know, push forward on that. I like to hold the plunger in. You'll see me do that quite a bit just because then it frees up. I don't have to hold up here. Um, slide that action screw down and we'll snug those up. Now, if I was going to take this out to the range right now, I definitely want to go ahead and get a, a torque wrench set and torque these down. But this is a shotgun we most use for testing. So I'm not going to waste your or my time on that. So flip it around here. You're going to get the plastic piece, slide it in there. This clips right back on, you know, pretty straight forward there. Go ahead and put the bolt back in the gun. Now you can see here um, that the mag release is installed properly. So when I have my hand on the gun here, I can easily drop the mag, right? So I can fire, you know, fire the rounds, run the bolt. Um, but then when I do need to drop the mag, it's right there. So with my free hand, especially if I'm on a barricade or something with my free hand, I can do a mag change real quick and still stay on the gun. Um, you know, the other, the other method is, you know, take, take your hand over, you know, and, and drop it like the factory one. So we really think it's a pretty good, uh, it's a pretty good release. It is ambidextrous. So whether you're left hand or right hand, this is going to work the same for you. Um, like I said, offered in many colors, really think it's a great upgrade. Check this upgrade out and many others that we have on this gun and other guns. And, uh, yeah, make sure you hit that, uh, subscribe button at the bottom really helps us out. Um, let us know what you need videos on. We'd be happy to get them to you. Thanks, bye. Okay, so first thing we're gonna wanna do here is go ahead and take the bolt out of the gun. Do that, obviously, you just push on the tab on the back to take the bolt out. <laughs> Stupid fish <laughs> off.